this way. Okay, so um, this class we are going to be taking an aspect of mensuration of polygon. We are going to be taking an aspect of mensuration on polygon. Okay, so what is quite straightforward? You are going to see questions like this in your exam. Um, what do you mean by polygon? Like the word poly means, poly means more than what? More than three, three and above. That's what poly means. Poly means three and above. So the polygon means any shape with a, with a defined number of size. For instance, you have heard of the word triangle before. What is a triangle? A triangle is a shape with how many sides? Three sides. You have heard of the word, uh, what's it called? Quadrilateral. Under quadrilateral, you have what? You can have rectangle. You, you can even have square. You can have parallelogram. What is unique about all of this is that they have how many sides? Four sides. How do you draw a triangle? You draw a triangle like this. Is that not it? You draw a triangle like this. So your triangle has three sides. This is side one, side two, and side number three. Now, where any shape that has three sides will have how many angles? Three angles. You can see that. We'll have three angles. If you have three sides, you are going to have three angles. Rectangle, square, and parallelogram. This is your rectangle. Rectangle looks like this. This is the first angle. This is the second angle. This is the third angle. And this is the fourth angle. And it has four sides. Am I making any sense? It has four sides. Okay? You also have square. Square also has what? How many sides? Four sides. And four angles. You also have parallelogram. Parallelogram. First angle, second angle, third angle, fourth angle. Am I making a sense? Am I making a sense? Two means three sides. Quadrilateral, rectangle, square, parallelogram, they mean four sides. So when we now come to the one with five, with five sides now, the one with five sides, you have what is called pentagon. You have what is called what? Pentagon. Pentagon means a shape with how many sides? Five sides. We also have what is called what? Hexagon. Hexagon means how many sides? Six sides. We have heptagon. Heptagon means how many? Seven. We have octagon. Octagon means what? Eight. We have nonagon. Nonagon means what? Nine. Then we have decagon. Decagon means what? Ten. Is that clear? Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, sir. So, so you have to know all the sides. Pentagon. Pent means five. X means six. Ept means seven. Ox means eight. Nonagon means nine. And decagon means what? Ten. Do you understand that now? So a, a pentagon has five angles, five sides. Hexagon means six angles. Look at hexagon. Hexagon will look like this. Something like this is hexagon. My science students will understand this very well. <laughs> I know it's not benzene, because I know you say this looks like benzene. Okay. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So the number of sides equals to the number of the word angles. Am I making a sense? So if you have pentagon, five sides, you are going to also have how many angles? Five angles. Am I making a sense? So now, another thing I want to teach you on that, on that polygon is that every polygon, like I told you, would have a defined number of sides, will also have a defined number of angles. So if you are a pentagon, you have five angles, five sides. The, that angle I'm talking about, it can either be interior angle, it can either be what? Interior angle or what? Exterior. It can either be what? Interior angle or what? Exterior angle. It can either be what? Interior angle or what? Exterior angle. Now, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of what I mean by interior angle and exterior. Class, who can tell me what is the meaning of interior? Interior means inside. Interior means inside. Exterior means outside. Now, there's an angle here. An angle is formed when two lines meet. An angle is formed when two lines what? When two lines meet. When two lines, when they meet, when they intersect. This is a line. This is another line. Once they meet at this point here, an angle is formed. This angle that is inside here is interior. Is what? Interior. But come to think about it. If I extend this line like this, if I extend this line like this, there's an angle that is formed here again. The angle that is formed here is now called what? Exterior. I'm saying that I is interior and E is what? Exterior. what? Exterior. Am I making any sense? So this is interior. This is exterior. This is interior. When you extend this line like this, this now becomes what? Exterior. This is interior. The one outside here is exterior. This is interior. The one outside here is what? Exterior. Am I making any sense? Am I making any sense? So when I say interior angle, There are some theorems that we are going to learn under polygon. There are some what? Theorems. Those theorems are what you are going to use in solving questions. Number one theorem. All these theorems must be in your edge. Number one theorem. What we have here is the interior angle. I. What we have here is the exterior angle. But this is a straight line. What do you know about the straight line? We know that sum of angle on the straight line equals to what? 180. So we can now say that what? Interior plus what? Exterior angle equals to what? 180. Interior plus exterior equals to what? 180 degree. Am I making a sense? Am I making a sense? That is theorem number one. That is theorem number what? Theorem number one. Theorem number two. Theorem number two is that theorem number two is that okay. Theorem number two is that. For a regular polygon, for a regular polygon, the interior angles are all equal. For a, for a regular polygon, the interior angles are all what? Equal. Now, if you are smart, you ask me, what is the meaning of a regular polygon? When we say that a polygon is regular, regular polygon means a polygon that has equal number. That 
is all the sides are equal. This is what I mean. If all the sides are equal, it also means that all the interior angles are also what? All the interior angles are also what? Equal. Amen. If I draw this pentagonal, I make everything equal. I try to make everything equal, like they are, they are all of equal sides. If they are all of equal sides, what it means is that what it means is that all the interior angles are also they are all what equal. All the interior angles are also what. All the interior angles are also what equal. Okay, that's theorem number two. Theorem number three is that. Each interior angle is equal to n minus 2 times 180 divided by what? n. n minus 2 times 180 divided by what? Divided by n. This will give you, uh, what's it called? This will give you, uh, it will give you the, 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 the size of each interior angle. Now, let us practicalize this thing. Let us practicalize it. Listen, you know, if I have a triangle, if I have a triangle, how many sides is a triangle? Three. It means that each of the interior angle of a regular triangle will be what? Three minus two times 180. Okay, wait to. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Divided by three, Abby. Yeah, that's correct. So what is that? 180 divided by 3. What is divided by 3? 60 degree. When you have an equilateral triangle, a triangle that all the sides are equal, each of these angles are all what? They are all 60 what? They are all 60 degree. 60 plus 60, 120. 120 plus 60 will give you what? 180. Will give you what? 180. So let me start solving problems. Let me start solving problems. Let me start solving problems. You see the problem on your screen now. Let me start solving problem. You see the problem on your screen now. Let me start solving problems. You see the problem on your screen now. So that you understand what I'm saying very, very well. Can you see the question now? Question number 38. Question number 38. You are going to see it on your screen now. Question 38. You are going to see it on your screen now. So um, for question 38, what do we have? We have that a pentagon has four of its interior angles equal. If the other angle is 60 degree, find the size of each of the four angles. Now, let's go. You have a pentagon. Watch you, watch you, watch you, watch you. Pentagon means four, five sides, have you? And also means how many angles? Five angles. Uh, five angles, yes. Now, four of its interior angles are all equal. Let's assume they are all I, 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 I. But there is one that the angle is what? 60 degree. Am I making a sense? There is one that the angle is what? Is 60 what? Is 60 degree. There is one that the angle is what? Is 60 degree. There is one that the angle is what? Is 60 degree. Okay? Now, how do we approach this? Watch. How do we approach this? This is how you are going to solve this. The sum, theorem number five, theorem number four. The sum of all interior angles in any polygon is equal to n minus two times 180 degree. The sum of all interior angles in a polygon is n minus 2 times what? 180 degree. 
So what does this mean? It means that if I know that this thing is a pentagon, the number of stars is how many? Five. It means that if I add all these angles together, if I add all these angles together, it will give me a value. How do I know the total, the sum of all the angles? The sum of all the interior angles in any polygon is what? N minus 2 times 180. If I apply it here, what do I have? 5 minus 2 times what? 180. What is that? 3 times what? 180. What is 3 times 180 class? What is 3 times 180? What is 3 times 180? Somebody help us. What is 3 times 180? Five forty. Good. Five forty. That's very good. So it means that the sum of all of the angles in that polygon is five forty. It means that when I add the first one, what? To, what is the first angle? The first angle is I. We are told that four of them are equal. Four are equal. Why the other one is sixty? I plus I plus I plus another I. Plus 60 equals to 500 and what? 80. I plus I plus I will give you 4I equals to what? 580 minus 60. 4I equals to what is 580 minus 60? Yeah, it's 540. It's 540. 540. That guy, that guy that took me. Okay, oh, it's 540. No mind me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize. Look at no verse. 540. So 540 minus 60. Oh, yeah. Tell me. 540 minus 60. Wait. What is 540? Eh? Two. Three what? 480. Three what? Four. Okay, 480. Thank you. So how do I now get my eye? My eye will now be what? 480 divided by 4. What is that? 1, 120. 2, 120 degree. Am I making a sense there? That is option number A. Now, I want to ask you a question. This polygon, is it a regular polygon? The polygon in this question, is it a regular polygon? No, it's an Is it a regular, regular polygon? No. I cannot hear that person. No. It is not. It is no. not a regular polygon. It is not because if it is a regular polygon, all the angles will be what equal. Am I making a sense? All the angles will be, what? Will be equal, but all the angles are not equal. Four are equal, the other one is not equal, the other one is different. That makes it not to be a regular polygon. That makes it not to be a regular what polygon. So it is an irregular polygon. Now, there's, there's a question you can.
Okay. Um, I think we are back now. So I think we are back now. So, uh, I I believe everybody was here with me while I saw this. So I was trying to give you a question, which is that like you can see a question like this: What is the size of each interior angle in a regular hexagon? Can somebody tell me that? What is the size of each interior angle? Size of each interior angle in a regular in a regular hexagon. So we know that hexagon means number of sides is how many? Six. So and the formula I gave you that says that each interior angle is what? N minus two times 180 divided by what? N. That is for a, for a regular what? For a regular polygon. So what do you have now? Six minus two times 180 divided by what? Six. What do you have? Four times what? 180 divided by six. So what do you have? Two year two, two year three. Abi? Three year one, three year what? Six. Two times 60. What do you have here? 120. Am I making any sense? 100 and what? 120. Do you understand that? That is the size of each interior angle in a regular what? Hexagon. Okay? That is the size of each interior angle in a regular hexagon. So I will display another question on your screen, which is question 21. I'll be displaying another question now on your screen, which is question 21. Question 21. Question 21, I want you to see it before I start solving. I want you to see the question before I start solving. Question 21. Question 21. Okay. A regular polygon of 2K plus one sides has 140 degree as the size of each interior. Find K. Let's go. We are given that the number of sides is equal to what? 2K plus one. We are told that the polygon is a regular polygon. We are also told that each interior is how many, each interior is of how many angle? 100 and what? 40 degree. 100 and what? 40 degree. Am I making a sense? So how do we go about it? Now, remember that each interior in the polygon of a regular polygon is N minus two times 180 divided by what? N. Am I making any sense? So what will I get from here? Sorry. What will I get from here? What I can get from here is my what? Is my N. How will I do that? Cross what? Cross multiply. If I cross multiply, what do I have? 140 times N equals to what? 180 N minus 2. So what do you have? 140 N equals to 180 N minus what? 360. Am I making a sense? 180 times n, 180. Abi, 180 times minus 2, minus 360. Collect like terms. What would that give you? 180 n minus 140 n 
equals to what? 360. So what do you have? 40 N equals to what? 360. N equals to what? 360 divided by 40. What is that? Somebody from the class, give me. What is 360 divided by? Zero comes out zero. Nine. 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 That's the answer. That's the number of sides. But nine is not what they ask you to find. What they ask you to find is what? Find K. But we know that the number of sides has been given as what? 2K plus 1. So we now say that what? Number of sides, 9, equals to what? 2K plus 1. What is that? 2K equals to 9 minus 1. 2k equals to what? 8. What's now my 3? 8 divided by 2. What is the answer? 4. Am I making a sense class? If you understand what I've done, please unmute yourself and let me know that you understand. Let me know. Under, let, please unmute yourself and let I me know that you understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Plus 1. Each interior is 140. From this each interior, we want to get you can even see a question like this in day of the exam. You will see a question like this on day of the exam. A regular polygon has each interior as 180 or 150 or 140. They will not ask you that how many sides does the polygon have? They have given you the each interior. Each interior equals to what? N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. Cross multiply. 140 times N. Abi? Equals to 180 into bracket n minus 2. Open up the bracket 180 times n, 180 n minus 180 times 2, minus 360. Color like terms. This one and this one, they are the same family. They both have n. I collected like terms and I saw for my n. After solving for my n, you are now told that the number of sides is equal to 2k plus 1, find k. I will tell you that in your exam, you are going to see 9 as part of the option. But because the majority of you, when you are solving, you are not always in, you are not always patient because of exam tension, exam fever. You pick nine without reading the question that the question did not say find number of sides. You want to say find what? Okay, is that clear, class? Is that clear? Okay, I will go to another question now. You see the question on your screen. You see the question on your screen now. Another question. Another question, question 25, you see it on your screen now, before I solve it. Question 25, you are going to see it on your screen, before I solve it. You are going to see that question on your screen now, while I, I begin to solve it. You are going to see the question on your screen now. But, but this question, I will need you to unmute yourself so that you give me an idea. I want us to solve it together. You give me an idea of how to solve it. You give me an idea of how to solve it. I'll be asking you questions based on this question. I'll be asking you questions to see if you are following me. Okay, good. We have all seen the question. The exterior angles of a quadrilateral are given as x comma, 2x plus 5, x plus 5, and 3x minus 10. Find the value of x. Now, before I start solving, I want to really see if you understand the problem. Who can tell me what, how many sides does a quadrilateral has? Who can tell oh. me? Four sides. Four sides. Four sides. Four Four side. Side. How many interior angles will it have? Four. Four. Four interior angle. How many exterior angle will it have? Four. 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 Four, four, four. four exterior. Four. So, number of side is four. Interior angle is four. Exterior angle is also what? Four. four. But we are now giving that the exterior angles, watch, listen. We are giving that the exterior angles are x, 2x plus 5, comma, x plus 15, and 3x minus 10. We are not trying to, we are not trying to find x. How do we get that? That will not lead us to theorem 5. I'm giving you theorem 4. That will not lead us to what? Theorem number 5. What does theorem number 5 say? 
he says that some of all exteriors is equals to what? Take a sixty. Some of all, some of all exterior angle equals to what? Take a sixty. That's another theorem. Some of all exterior in any polygon is equal to 360. Just add everything all together. When you add everything together, it will give you what? 360. Yeah, let's go. X plus 2x, 3x plus x, 4x plus another 3x, 7x. 5 plus 15, 20. 20. 20 minus 10. 10. 10. God bless you. What will I do? 7x equals what? 360 minus 10. What is 360 minus 10? 350. 350. 7x equals to 350. X equals to what? 350 divided by 7. What is 350 divided by 7? 50. 50. God bless you. That's option what? Option A. You can see that it's very simple. Once you know the theorem, you know what you want to do. Once you know the theorem, you know what you want to do. Summation of all exterior in any polygon, even if the polygon is one million size. Even if the polygon is one million size. All the summation of the exteriors must be what? 300. 